Hello, today we are going to try just one nice application problem of our exponential growth. Um, a lot of population sizes, um, whether population growth with humans or population growth as far as cells and how, how quickly they double and multiply, or bacteria growth, um, can be modeled by an exponential function. We say it grows exponentially. Um, and here we have a problem like that, um, a biology application with bacteria. The population P of a culture that begins with 40 bacteria and doubles every 8 hours can be modeled by P is equal to 40 times 2 to the T divided by 8th power, where T is time in hours. Find T if P is equal to 20,480. So in other words, it's asking how long does it take for our bacteria to get to um, having 20,408 bacteria? How long does that take? Uh, I want to quickly point out before I start this problem, this is kind of the general basic form of exponential growth. We can notice it's of the form y equals a times b to the x. Um, that's kind of a very basic exponential function that models exponential growth. And um, the b here is sort of our um, growth rate. How fast is it? Uh, increasing. A will be our initial amount. So in this case we have 40 bacteria and it's growing at a rate of doubling every um, eight hours. So that two there. Um, and so that's kind of the general exponential model and you can use that in a lot of times when it's in a, in a problem that talks about this item grows exponentially. This might be a good starting point for your exponential function. Well anyways, in this problem P is 20,480, so let me just write that. 20,480 is equal to 40 times 2 to the t divided by 8. We need to find t. It's up in the exponent. And remember we have that technique for solving for something in the exponent by if I can get the base the same on the left and the right then the exponents are equal. But right now I'm pretty far from that. What I want to do here is get this portion of my problem alone. Get the portion with the exponent alone. So I'm going to divide, going to divide by 40 on both sides. 20,480 divided by 40 is 512. You can use your calculator get that number. It's equal to 2 to the t divided by 8. Um, that is a thing you use almost every time you're solving uh, math problems, no matter the, the function. You want to get the function. So when I talk about the function in this case, I'm talking about this chunk. I want to get that alone before I do, a th do anything special with it. Like I want to get a square root alone before I square both sides. I want to get a logarithm alone on both sides before I exponentiate it. Techniques that um, are a little more advanced, but in this case we want to get our exponent and its base alone before we apply that property of equality. So going back down, um, my bases are not the same yet. I have 5, 12, and 2. Um, I need the bases to be the same before I can say the exponents are equal. But 5, 12, if we've got our powers down good, we can know that 512 is 2 to the ninth power is equal to 2 to the t to the, divided by 8. So 512 is 2 to the ninth power. Now I can say the exponents are equal. 9 is equal to t divided by 8. Multiply both sides by 8. And 72 is equal to t. So it takes 72 hours for the bacteria to grow to a size of having 20,480 of those little buggers.